to the biggest science quiz competition of Northeast, SciConnect 2018, organized by Vigyan Prasar. We all have gathered here in Aizol for SciConnect 2018 Level 2 Quiz Competition Program. I am Ms. Natalia, your anchor and your quiz master. Today, we are honored to have with us Sri Sachin Narvadia, scientist from Vigyan Prasar, coordinator of SciConnect Quiz Competition. SciConnect is a program specially designed for the students of Northeast regions and initiated by Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The program is being organized in collaboration with all state councils of science and technology situated at different state capitals of northeastern states and Sarba Shiksha Abhiyan, Assam. The specialty of this quiz show is that it is based on the content of the films produced by Vigyan Prasar and the syllabus of the 8th and the 9th standard. Today, we are here in Aizol and the children have come from schools of different districts across Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh, the land of dawn-lit mountains, is also known as the Orchid State of India or the Paradise of the Botanist. When the sun first strikes India, it shines upon Arunachal's jungles and tribal communities. Arunachal, the name means land of the rising sun. As today, we are here for the SciConnect program, let me give brief about the program. This program has three levels. Level 1 was a district level competition. In this level, all registered schools of Arunachal Pradesh were given 33 science films produced by Vigyan Prasar for the screening at schools. After screening of films, an objective type written examination was conducted jointly with Arunachal Pradesh State Council for Science and Technology, Itanagar. From the students who participated in the written examination, the first 30 students were selected for level 2 quiz competition, Come Hands on Science Workshop. Out of the 30 students, the first 15 students are now facing the quiz competition along with the three days hands-on science workshop organized by Vigyan Prasar. The first winning team of level 2 from Arunachal Pradesh along with all other northeastern states will go to the final level to be held in Agartala, Tripura, the level 3, which is regional level final competition. So I welcome you all again. We are starting the Sci Connect Level 2. Before starting the quiz show, let us have a quick introduction to all the participants. So please kindly introduce yourselves. We will start with Team A. Hi, I'm Vishnu Raju and I'm from Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalaya. I'm studying in class 9 and my hobby is reading. Hello everyone, my name is Nima Sherpa and I am from Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalaya from class 9. My hobbies are listening to music and playing football. Hi everyone, I am Ms. Poti Mosi of class 9 from Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are painting and singing. Thank you Team A for the introduction. Now let's hear an introduction from Team B. Hello everyone, my name is Yatung Ike, Standard 9 of Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are singing and drawing. Hi everyone, I am Ms. Luda Music, Standard 9 from Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are listening music and reading books. Hello, my name is Agnik Mandal. I am studying in Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalai in class 9. My hobbies are playing chess and football. Thank you Team B for your introduction. Now let's have an introduction from Team C. Hi everyone, my name is Jyotime Saikya. I am studying in class 9 in Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalaya and my hobby is playing cricket. Hi everyone, my name is Kusiu Sitamin, standard of class 9 from Vivekananda Public School and my hobby is reading books. Hi, my name is Joseph Keller and I am studying class 9 at Holy Faith English School. My hobbies are drawing pictures and listening to music. Thank you Team C for the introduction. Now let's have an introduction from Team D. Hello everyone, my name is Lingi Kalingamo. I am studying in Vivekananda Kendra Vijale, class 9. My hobby is playing football. Hello everyone, my name is Susmita Sonar, Standard 9 of Vivekananda Public School and my hobby is painting. Hello everyone, I am Anshuman Singh from Jawaharlal in class 9 and my hobby is painting. Thank you Team D for the introduction. 
Now let's have an introduction from Team E. Hello everyone, I am Ms. Pori Mosi, Standard 9 of Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are painting and reading books. Hello everyone, my name is Nancy Singh, Standard 9 of Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are listening music and reading books. Hello everyone, myself Ms. Penya Khaidar, Standard 9 of Vivekananda Public School and my hobbies are singing and painting. Thank you Team E for the introduction and thank you to all the teams for your beautiful introduction. Let's start off our quiz with the first round. In round one, each team will get two questions with multiple choices. If unanswered, your question will not pass on to the next team. And each question will have 10 points and your answer time is 10 seconds. Okay? So team, are you ready? Alright, shall we start? Okay, let's start off round one with team A. Team A, are you ready? Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at your question on the screen. In case of laser eye surgery, which gas is used for laser medium? Your options are A. Argon B. Nitrogen C. Gold vapor or D. Hydrogen fluoride Hydrogen fluoride Hydrogen fluoride is your answer. The answer is wrong. The right answer is A. Argon. Now moving on with Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Parachutes hard friction created by air. What term is used for such air friction? Your options are A. Air movement B. Air resistance C. Air breeze or D. None of the above B. Air resistance B. Air resistance is your answer and that is the right answer. Congratulations Team B. Alright Team C, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. If you have four red balls and two blue balls, then what is the ratio of two colored balls? Your options are A. 4 is to 2 B. 8 is to 4 C. 2 is to 1 or D. None C. 2 is to 1 C. 2 is to 1 and that is the right answer. Congratulations Team C! Okay, Team D, are you ready? Yes. Are you nervous? No. No? Alright, that's a good spirit. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which chemical is used in air conditioning between cycle of liquid and gaseous forms? Your options are A. Freon B. Hydrogen C. Methane or D. Hydrogen Sulfide B. Hydrogen B. Hydrogen is your answer? It is not the right answer. It is a wrong answer. The right answer is A. Freon. Moving on to Team E. Team E, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. What is the term used for the amount of charge a device can store for a given voltage difference? Your options are A. Capacitance B. Ampere C. Voltage or D. Resistance I am sorry your time is up before you give your answer. Remember, you only have 10 seconds for this round. Okay? The right answer is A. Capacitance and I think that was what you were trying to tell, right? Alright, let's come back to Team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's take a look at your question on the screen. 
Neoprene, invented by scientist DuPont, is a substitute for which of the following? Your options are A. Natural rubber B. Polythene C. Methane or D. None B. Polythene B. Polythene is your answer B. Polythene is a wrong answer the right answer is A. Natural rubber. Neoprene is a polymer of chloroprene. Now, team B, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. A ship floats because it displaces the volume of water equal to itself in terms of what? Your options are A. Weight B. Volume C. Force or D. Pressure Option A, wait. Option A, wait. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. Coming to Team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. In case of Roman numbers, the M stands for which number? Your options are A, 100, B, 1000, C, 2,000 or D, 3,000? Option A, 100. A, 100 is your answer. That is a wrong answer. The right answer is B, 1,000. Team D, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. With the increase in the surface area, what will be the effect on evaporation of liquid? Your options are A. Increase B. Decrease C. Remains same or D. First increase then decrease Option A. Increase Option A. Increase is your answer and that is the right answer. Congratulations Team D. And we know that evaporation is a surface phenomenon. Now, coming to the last question of this round, Team E, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. The components of which solution are dispersed phase and dispersion medium? Your options are A. Saturated B. Colloidal C. Standard or D. Accurate Option B, colloidal. Option B, colloidal. And that is another right answer. Congratulations, Team E. And with that, we have come to the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores of the teams. With the end of the first round, Team A are yet to open their account. Team B have scored 20 points. And Team C, Team D and Team E all have scored 10 points each. Let's come to the second round. The round two of this competition will be a one-word answer round. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. And if unanswered, your question will pass on to the next team only and it will carry a bonus of 5 points for the pass on team. Your time will be 10 seconds and for the first team, your time will be 20 seconds. Okay? So, shall we start the second round? All right. Don't be nervous, don't be tensed. Even for those teams who, have, who haven't opened their account yet, now is a good chance. So let me start with Team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question. The planets have an elliptical path instead of circular due to which factor? Gravitational. Gravitational. 
is not the right answer, so your question passes to team B. Its speed of rotation. Its speed of rotation is your answer. And that is not the right answer. The right answer is the conservation of angular momentum. Okay, team B, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. An escalator is basically which built with steps. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt is your answer and that is the right answer. Congratulations, team B. <laughs> team C, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. In a 24 hours of period, how many high and low tides exist? Your time is up, Team C. Your question passes to Team D. Team D, if you know the answer. Eight. Eight is a wrong answer. The answer is two each. Team D, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. During the cake making, which gas accumulates inside the cake to give the dough a light, airy texture. Time is up for Team D. The question passes to Team E. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. You're almost there, but that is not the right answer. The right answer is carbon dioxide gas. I think it all strikes back to your mind, right? The, the tidy holes inside the bread, the cakes, all those. Okay, Team E. Team E, are you ready with your question? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which instrument is used for navigation, help, and gives us information of direction? Magnetic compass. Magnetic compass. Okay, I will take that as a right answer. Okay. Congratulations, Team E. And with that, we have come to the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores of the team. Team A are yet to open their account. Team B have scored 30 points. Team C, 10. Team D, 10 points. And Team E with 20 points. Let's move on to the third round, that is the buzzer round. Round three is a buzzer round with negative marking. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type. After the appearance of the question on the screen, you have to immediately press your buzzer if you know the answer. The opportunity for answering will be given to the team who presses their buzzers first. The wrong answer will deduct two marks from your total score and the right answer will give you 10 marks. If unanswered, the question will pass on to the next team only and it will carry five bonus points. There will be no deduction of marks in case of pass on. Alright, can we start round three teams? Keep your buzzers ready. Keep your mind open, 
keep your mind alert. Let's start with the first question. Tonsils are located in which part of human body? C. Presses their buzzer. Nick. Nick. It's wrong. So the question passes to team D. If you know the answer. Joe. Joe. It's almost there, but that is the wrong answer. The tonsils are located inside the mouth. Okay, are you ready for the second question? Yes. Be ready with your buzzers. Okay, make sure you are real fast if you know the answer. All right, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Samuel Finley Breeze Morse produced a way of transmitting messages by using a code popularly called as what? Team C presses their buzzer. Morse code. Morse code. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. <laughs> Coming to the third question. Teams, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Euglena, a single cell animal, makes its own food by photosynthesis but eats other food in absence of what? Team B have already pressed their buzzer. In the absence of sunlight. In the absence of sunlight, and that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. <laughs> question number four of your buzzer round. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Magnesium is chemically reactive, light, and which colored metallic element? A presses their buzzer. So A, what is the answer? Silver. Silver. Congratulations, Team A. On the right answer. Our final question for the buzzer round. Those of you who haven't pressed your buzzers yet, get ready. There is still one more chance. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which is the pass followed by a bullet as it leaves the gun? Team B presses their buzzer. Trajectory path. Trajectory path is your answer, and that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. <laughs> and with that, we have come to the end of the third round again. Before we move on to the fourth round, let us take a look at the scores. Team A have scored 10 points. Team B have scored 50 points. Team C have scored 18 points. Team D have scored 10 points and Team E have scored 20 points. <laughs> Let's move on to the fourth round. The fourth round is a photo identification round. Here in this round, each team will get one question as a picture which will be shown on the screen. If identified without any clue, then 10 points will be awarded and 2 points for each clue will be deducted for the next 4 clues. If unanswered, the question will not pass on to the next team. The total time for your answer is one and a half minute. So teams, are you ready? Okay, let's start with team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the fish? Sardine. Sardine is your answer. That is the wrong answer, so I will give you your first clue. It is too small with a maximum known length of 20 cm. Second clue. Next clue. It is known to be present only on the upper continental slopes of Colombia and Venezuela at a depth of 283 to 439 meter. Third clue. Third clue. This is a kind of shock. And fourth clue. The fourth clue. Its name contains lantern also.
Lantern shark. So your answer is lantern shark. The right answer is dwarf lantern shark. I will take that as the right answer, but you will be getting two points because you have used all your four clues. Okay? Congratulations, Team A. Okay, Team B, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify this octopus? It's an octopus and I want you to tell me the name. Dwarf octopus. Dwarf octopus is not the right answer, so I will give you your first clue. It is the smallest known octopus in the world. Mini sea octopus. Mini sea octopus. I will give you your second clue. Its length is less than 2.5 cm and it weighs less than 1 gram. Third clue. Third clue. It is found in the Western Pacific Ocean at depths between 3 and 30 meter. Fourth clue. Fourth clue. Its name contains the name of a forest animal. Tiger octopus. Tiger octopus. Yes. You're almost there, but that is the wrong answer. The right answer is octopus wolfie. Okay? All right. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Can you identify the lizard? Chameleon. All right. Chameleon is your answer. And as we can see, it is a very tiny lizard there. The right answer is leaf chameleon, and I am going to give you a full point for that. Congratulations, Team C. <laughs> Team D, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Can you identify the bird? Hummingbird. Hummingbird is your answer. Okay. That is a bee hummingbird, but I will take that as the right answer. Congratulations, Team D. All right, Team E, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Can you identify the plant? Ma'am, is this a plant? Yes. Can you identify the plant? Cold. Cold. It's not the right answer, so I will give you your first clue. It is a fast-growing, drought-resistant tree native to the southern foothills of the Western Ghats in India. Next clue. Next clue. Many parts of this plant are edible, like immature seed pots, leaves, mature seeds, oil pressed from seeds, flower, roots. Next clue. Next clue. The leaves are the most nutritious part of the plant, being a significant source of various vitamins, proteins, among other essential nutrients. Sajin. Sajin. Sajin is your answer. All right. Its English name is drumstick, and I will take that as a right answer. However, six points have been deducted for your clues, and you will be getting four points. Congratulations, Team E. With that, we have come to the end of the fourth round. Let's take a look at the scores of the teams. Team A have scored 12 points, 
Team B have scored 50 points. Team C have scored 28 points. Team D have scored 20 points. And Team E have scored 24 points. Our last and final round, round 5, the rapid fire round. Here in this round, each team will be asked a continuous question for one and a half minute or a maximum of eight questions. The answers should be given as true or false only. Each question will carry five points. There will be a representative from each team who will give the answer. Okay? So is it clear to all the teams? Shall we start round five? Team A, who will be your representative? I am Rishnu and I will represent Team A. Alright. Remember, your teammates can help you with the answer. So let's take a look at your questions on the screen. Ripe fruits are of two main types, dry and juicy. True. Right. A gyroscope is a disc or wheel which is spun around its axis. True. Right? Iodine is a metallic element. True. Wrong. Two fluids having different osmotic pressure are called as isotonic. True. Wrong. Lightning is the cause behind genesis of thunder. True. Right? A light year is distance a year with less tensions. False. Right? Litmus is red or blue powder obtained from plants named lichens. True. Right? In 1868, Angstrom discovered hydrogen in sun's spectrum. False. Wrong. And with that, Team A, you have got five right answers and you have scored 25 points. Congratulations, Team A. Okay, Team B, are you ready? Yes. Who will be your representative? My name is Ludam Yudik and I'm representing Team B. All right, hold your mic. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. A micrometer is used to measure small volume of liquids. False. Right? A clinometer is used to measure angles in surveying. True. Right? Most of the animals which live in water use gills for respiration. True. Right? A fruit is part of plant which contains seed. True. Right? Food poisoning can be caused by the presence of certain bacteria. True. Right? Gabriel David Fahrenheit made first alcohol thermometer in 1714. True. Right? Genes are bigger than chromosomes. False. Right? Nicholas Copernicus proposed that the Sun and not Earth is at the center of the universe. True. Right. With that, Team B has got all the eight questions right and they have scored 40 points on their table. Congratulations, Team B. <laughs> Let's move on to Team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Who will be representing your team? My name is Jyoti Mesekia. I will represent the Team C. Okay. So I wish you all the best. Let's take a look at your questions on the screen. The hard drives were first invented in the 1980s. True. Wrong. The word hydroponics is originally a Greek word. True. Right. Smoke is a form of pollution. True. Right. 
when molecules of water on surface of water body changes from liquid to gas, it is called condensation. False. Right? The polar areas of Earth are hot deserts. False. Right? Charon, Hydra, and Nix are moons of Pluto. True. Right? The Amazon River is the largest river in the world. True. Right? The zygote divides repeatedly to give rise to an embryo. True. Right. All right. With that, Team C have got seven right answers and they managed to get 35 points on their score. Congratulations, Team C. All right. Team D, are you ready? Yes. Who will be representing your team? I'm Lenge Kalingamo. Representing the team D. Let's take a look at your questions. Butterflies are type of worms. True. Wrong. The arrangement of ions in a regular geometric structure is called crystal lattice. True. Right. Cork is a substance which comes from the bark of a tree. True. Right. The invention of magnifying glasses led to the discovery of microscopic world. True. Right? Discount is equal to marked price plus sale price. False. Right? If in the prime factorization of any number, each factor appears three times, then the number is a perfect cube. True. Right? The fusion of ovum and sperms is called separation. False. Right? Amoeba reproduces by dividing itself into two. True. Right. And with that, Team D also gets seven right answers and they have scored 35 points. Congratulations, Team D. <laughs> Our final team for the day. Team E, are you ready? Yes. Okay, who will be representing your team? My name is Penya Kedel and I am representing Team E. Okay, I wish you all the best. Let's take a look at your questions on the screen. Additional expenses made after buying an article are included in the cost price and are known as the selling price. True. Wrong. The frequency is expressed in Hertz. True. Right? Excessive or unwanted sounds leads to noise pollution. True. Right? In Hydra, new individuals develop from zygote. False. Right? The power of an earthquake is expressed in terms of a magnitude on a scale called the Richter scale. True. Right? When charges move, they constitute an electric current. True. Right? Rainfall patterns depends on the prevailing wind patterns in an area. True. Right? Pollution of air, water and soil affect the quality of life and harm the biodiversity. True. Right. And with that, Team E also get 7 right answers and 35 points on their score. Congratulations, Team E! With this, we have come to the conclusion of the Level 2 Sci Connect Quiz Competition. As all rounds are over now, I invite Sri Sachin Narvaria, scientist and coordinator of Sci Connect, to announce the final score. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. As we come to the end of this quiz show, looking at the scoreboard, we can see that all the teams did extremely well and we had a very good competition. On teamwork by the teams, I am remembering some lines by Bebe Ruth and wish to share with you before results. The way the team plays as a whole determines its success. You may have greatest bunch of individuals stars in the world, but if they don't play, 
together the club won't be a worth a dime the whole kiss competition was a tough fight for the first position among all the teams after the first round team c team d and team e were at 10 points each while team b got 20 points with two right answers by at the end of round 2 which is one word answer type round team b and team e scored 10 points each taking their score to 30 points and 20 points respectively team c and team d remain at the same score of the first round after round 3 team b moved ahead by score of 20 points in the buzzer round thus making overall score of 50 points however team c got two negative points and gave one right answer taking their score to 18 points in this round team a opened their account and got 10 points after round 4 team b could not improve their overall score and remained on 50 points while team c and team d scored 10 points taking their score to 28 and 20 points respectively after round 5 team b gave all correct answers team b maintained their overall lead throughout the program by scoring full marks except in round 4 which was photo identification round where they were not able to identify the picture of smallest known octopus in the world though other teams gave tough competition to team b but like true champions team b by giving maximum correct answers were clear winners the final score for all the teams stand at team a 37 points team b 90 points team c 63 points team d 55 points team e 59 points my heartiest congratulations to team b team b is recommended for the finals to be held in agartala thank you miss natalia thank you sachin narwadia sir for announcing the scores of all the teams i congratulate team b for winning the quiz and all the best for agartala I offer my best wishes for all the participants and I wish you a bright future ahead. Now with this, we have come to the end of the quiz show. Thank you one and all. Arunachal Pradesh students are very much good in art and crafts and designing some good things. so now their mind level and thinking level and their, this film making is uh, just nurturing their minds and they are cope with that science in a very good manner so it is creating the competitive environment uh, among the students and uh, it is a very good things so students are having too much interest in science and uh, they are incorporating their knowledge and that um, enthusiasm towards science uh, towards the basic basic things and that is good for our india and country to develop the young charming minds It's a proud moment for me representing my state Arunachal Pradesh. It's really excited for me coming here and meet those people and many resource persons also. The hands-on workshop is very interesting. I learn many things beyond my syllabus and I will try to be my best on my quiz competition. This program will help me for building the future experiments and the temper of developing science inside me. so this can make our present best and as further we can develop our future with the help of the descriptions and hands on activities that are given to us by the program of psychonet i have learned many many experiences that were that was not in my textbook and i think that this experience will help me in further psychonet helps in uh, to develop the knowledge uh, uh, for the uh, science and focusing the research and also uh, develop the new projects towards the science and you have to get the sessions for that particularly uh, uh, to develop the creativity uh, on the basis of that particular science modeling and uh, science projecting and you have to develop a new scientist from that and that is the main aim to develop a new uh, research person from uh, this angle ones 